What I'd like to cover in this lesson is just basically go through the options available to you, the menus and options available to you in VersaWorks, just to familiarize you with the uh, product itself. As you can see, it's divided into three sections. On the left are the status of both the job, the RIP, and the print. On the middle is actually information about the actual job that you're working on. This is the size, uh, the job properties, and so forth. And then on the right side is actually an image showing you where it's going to print on the media and in what orientation. So you've got all three of these. You also have an image up here at the top that is a, an interesting image. I double clicked on the letter A here and it brings up the properties for that particular queue. These are the default properties. Let's close that. Same thing with B. Double click on that. It brings up the properties for that queue. So you have two different queues, A and B, where you can place the jobs in, in different uh, locations. Also, you see the computer in the middle. I'll double click on that. That brings up the preferences for the particular program. So here's where you can set your units. You can set your language. You can uh, set the preview uh, quality, low, standard, and high quality. Um, this is really dependent on uh, the uh, the nature of your computer as well as uh, what kind of files you work with. Typically, leave it on standard. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but if you set it to high quality, you get a much refined uh, image preview. Uh, low, naturally, you would get a lower preview. Enable monitor proofing. If that's off, uh, there is no monitor proofing. What that means is there's no soft proofing. There's no preview of what it's going to look like uh, prior to your printing it. Uh, if you enable monitor proofing, you have several choices in here. You may only have uh, Adobe RGB set up, but if you have a uh, profiler for your monitor, you could actually uh, profile your monitor and choose uh, what kind of color space you want to use. In my case, since I've pro profiled my monitor, uh, I have a generic LCD monitor profile here. This is also provided to you on this DVD, so if you would like to use it, uh, just copy it into the Profiles and RGB section in the Profile section of the uh, program. I showed that to you in the uh, FlexiSign area uh, of the program. Uh, again, use QB as the input folder, show QB, you know, it just gives you, you know, how many, uh, um, concurrent RIP processes do you want to work with? If you have a measurement tool for defining colors or for setting up uh, specific colors, you can actually choose it here. A very common one is the uh, Gray Tag Macbeth I1. Very common. And then you choose the ports and so forth. Uh, Roland at Net. This is actually allows you to check for updates automatically and be notified of updates. So when you launch the program, if there's an update available, it would actually... Uh, uh, tell you that that's available and uh, help you with uh, walking you through downloading that. And multiple printer support, uh, show jobs for all printers. Again, if you have more than one uh, printer uh, listed, you could maybe uh, change them here. Uh, you also have output settings, a maximum of con concurrent outputs. I set that to four so that there are of capabilities of running four different uh, devices simultaneously if that's necessary. In any case, set these up according to your particular uh, job uh, workflow. Then you also have the printer over here. I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, what this does is this actually shows the name of the printer, uh, the uh, network port, uh, the serial number, a couple of other things. But it also is a good way to show you what your ink status is at the time. So as you can see here, my magenta and black are quite low. Uh, it's warning me that those are probably need to be changed out uh, fairly soon. All right, so that's a good way to kind of check your ink levels. So a lot of things you see here, I'm just double clicking on, on images. I double clicked on the image that brought up the job settings for that particular job. Over here, I can double click again, brings up the job settings for that job again. I can double click over here on the name of the job and that brings up the job settings for the job. So there's three different ways to do that. It's kind of up to you. A lot of times you can just double click on things. At the bottom of this area here, you have some buttons. Uh, the settings, this again is uh, like double clicking on the image. These are the job settings for that particular image. 
There's the uh, rip menu that allows you just to rip that job rather than rip and print. There's a print menu here to pr rip and print the job. You have uh, the queues. You have a way to save this job. So if I click on save, for instance, it will allow me to save that job as a native uh, job file. You can also save that as an uh, Roland Bursaworks job and the source file so that you have the image plus the job file itself. That's kind of a good thing to do. Uh, you can negate a job, you can clear a job, and you can also delete that particular job down here on the bottom. So that kind of gives you an overview of things that are active that are on the screen to start with. So there's a lot of areas in here where you can just double click and uh, get things done pretty quickly. <laughs> Naturally, uh, on the top you have uh, menus. There's a file, edit, view, job, printer, media, and help. Some of these you're find very helpful. In the help menu, for instance, just show the help that you have or go to VersaWorks online or even if you need to know a little bit about the version you're using, you click about it tells you the version of VersaWorks that you're actually using. Uh, the file menu, add a job to the queue. Uh, VersaWorks is a standalone RIP software, so what that means is, is that any file that's compatible with VersaWorks uh, can be added directly to the job queue. If you click on add a job to QA, what that does is uh, you search your desktop or wherever your files are, and then there are a number of different supported formats. As you can see, EPS, JPEG, PDF, uh, PostScript files, TIFF, of course the uh, saved files from uh, VerseWorks itself, and so forth. So these are the common file formats that you can ask for uh, from a customer, for instance, if you don't need to make design editing changes but simply want to print a file. You can do that. In the uh, edit menu we have uh, QA settings. These are the default settings of that particular queue. These can all be changed for each specific job but these are the default settings. So for instance if you're primarily printing to a certain size roll you can choose it from here. Right? Or if you're primarily printing to a certain kind of media. Let's say we're printing to uh, uh, glossy vinyl or something like that. So white glossy photo paper, white glossy photo paper, look for glossy vinyl. There's glossy banner vinyl, you know, glossy banner vinyl, something like that. And here's just glossy calendar vinyl. So choose glossy calendar vinyl in this case. When I click OK, then each time I send the, a job to QA, that's the default uh, quality setting or, or, or media setting. So that's how you can kind of set up your cues and you probably want to do that. Apple Talk settings again if you're using Apple Talk for uh, Mac uh, to run this you can certainly uh, connect via a, a spooler name. Also you have uh, spot color settings. These are actually the libraries. You can see here here's my uh, Roland Color System library. This is where uh, if I send a color over to uh, VersaWorks and let's say I, I have a some sort of uh, blue or red color or something like that, right? So I choose one of these colors up here. Let's just click one of these. Basically, uh, that particular uh, spot color to print is using values of 100% cyan plus 100% yellow plus 40% uh, black. These are the CMYK values. So basically what's happening here is when I send a file, uh, from say FlexiSign or some other program and it has these CMYK values in it and uh, but I'd rather make sure I want to make sure that I've defined this particular spot color in those programs it, it needs to use these values it's a way of, of uh, translating these colors so that they print exactly according to a formula and you can see there's a number of those formulas in here that can be used with the program. We'll go over this in a, a separate uh, uh, video. Same thing uh, goes for uh, special color settings. Here now you can actually define colors if you wish. You could actually measure a color for instance, uh, create a library of colors if you wish. Maybe there's a customer that has five or six colors and you want to make it an exact uh, match every single time. You can do that using this particular one. Again, we'll go over this in a special video that we'll actually talk about. All right, and then preferences. So we showed again, these are the preferences that we showed a little bit earlier when we double clicked on the computer over here. These are just uh, preferences like units and so forth. So we could set all those up. 
in the view menu, we have uh, whether or not we want to actually see the status of these things. Uh, I turn these on and off, and you can see down here it actually gives you some settings. You can view things like view the preview window or not. So you can eliminate that if you'd rather see just the large uh, area over here. Or you can say view the outlook, right? You don't want to see the finished thing. You want to turn it on and off. Again, it's just more of a matter of preference. You can also view a job log. And this will give you uh, some interesting information about the actual jobs that are being uh, done as well. Very nice. Under job, we have settings. Again, this is the settings for that particular job that you're sending to the particular uh, printer. It's the same thing as double clicking on the image here. Same exact thing, except it's from a menu. Rip, print, save, clear, delete. Again, these reflect what's happening down here on the bottom uh, of your um, VersaWorks. You probably would use the, the, the images down here once you get used to it. Uh, in regard to printer, here we have printer settings. So I'm going to click on printer settings. And again, uh, if your printer is connected, it will allow you to set up specifics for that particular printer. So in other words, this is going to be the port. Uh, sometimes if you move a printer and you connect it to a different port and so forth, you got to redefine that point. You can give it a name. Uh, you click verify and it actually looks up the serial number and so forth. It's a way of connecting the uh, image or the, excuse me, the printer to your VersaWorks. Again, right here, you have add a new printer. So if you had a new printer that you wanted to actually add, you could add several different printers to this particular uh, ver uh, issue of VersaWorks, right? Okay, let's think of it that way. All right, let's cancel that out. And we'll go back to our uh, menus again under printer. You have printer status. This was the uh, ink status and so forth. Again, that was very similar to just double clicking on the printer right here, right? You have test print and test cut, which will allow you to uh, do exactly what it says. You know, just send a test print to make sure the communication is working or a test cut so that you can, uh, you know, check the uh, force of the knife blade and so forth. Because the Roland uh, printers generally come with both a printer and a uh, cutter. You can also pause, go offline, or send native files to that particular uh, printer. Media, we're going to save for a separate video as well because there's so many different uh, kinds of options here. But basically what this is about, and I'll just go to Media Explorer to start with, this is actually all of the profiles that are associated with this particular version or their particular printer. So, for instance, I have all these profiles associated with my VS640. If I pick one of these, just click on it, you can see over here, these are the different uh, ways to print, the resolutions and quality of that particular print. And in each case, we can do a couple of things. We can modify a profile, we can create new profiles, uh, for particular new medias. We're going to go all of, over all this in a separate uh, uh, lesson. So just be prepared for it. Know that it comes under the media setting here. And once again, you can also print uh, charts from, from this particular piece. So in other words, you can print a whole chart of all the, the uh, colors and, and profiles for this particular media if you wish to do that. It's just a, a helpful thing. In the help menu, again, showing uh, help that you can get on the particular program. This is help that's included with it, so you can find ways to use uh, the program and some of the settings if you need to. If you're just starting out, this is not a bad uh, place to, uh, to go to or keep open, so you can actually get a little help in using the program. But there are some great things online as well. If you go to VersaWorks Online, it'll actually take you, and you just choose your, your new uh, version, whatever version that is, Perhaps download uh, profiles. There's a quick start guide. There's a Macintosh client guide. So it kind of helps you through some of these uh, places here for uh, finding more information. It's kind of a great, uh, great area to take a look at. Okay. So that kind of takes you a, a, as a tour overall of the particular product. I want to go over a couple of things with you. And that is uh, when you double click on this, we're going to go through each one of these settings in a separate video. Uh, but realize that each one of these have uh, very uh, specific options to, to allow the printer to do certain things, such as contour cut, such as printing a certain quality to print a certain color, and so forth. 
So you'll want to become familiar with the overall interface. Here's a couple of just basics to remind you again. All the images, double click on it and it will actually allow you to set certain menus. That's kind of the fastest way to use it. Additionally, the image down here, you can use these buttons on the bottom to help manage your particular job. Double click on an image and it actually brings up the settings for that image. So once again, just uh, you know, spend some time becoming familiar with the overall interface of VersaWorks so that you're familiar with the way the product actually works. This is Mark Rugen with GiveMeHelp.com. Hope this helps you with a tour of VersaWorks.